Good morning internets! In this video I again want to talk about something that I don't really have an answer to but that I still think is an interesting subject to put out there and that is the question what makes life sacred or valuable? What criteria have to be met for us to consider something the equivalent of a human or even an animal life? One very common argument that I see is that people say it isn't enough for something to be intelligent but it also has to have emotion. Now this is something that's worth taking a closer look at. Emotions initially were just survival tools. Their impulses designed to make us react quickly and appropriately to certain stimuli. And these impulses over the course of human evolution have become, you know, more diverse and more complex, sometimes to the point that they don't really serve any survival purpose at all anymore. But the nature or original purpose of an emotion is still that of a survival tool, a neurological mechanism to help us act in our best interest. Now some people would say that what makes life special then is empathy or sympathy, the ability to care about someone else but ironically that is just an extension of that survival tool. Sympathy is the result of mirror neurons. It's when neurons in your brain imitate an emotion or action you see in someone else. As I said many times before, this is why you laugh and others laugh, why you feel sad when you see somebody cry, or why you cringe when you see somebody get hit in the groin. These neurons are the only thing that really allow us to identify with or relate to other human beings. The survival purpose here is simple, to feel and behave more like a unit, to have a primitive you know, communication system that helps us look out for each other. If a herd of animals is drinking at a pond and one starts running away in a panic because it sees a lion, they will all start running away in a panic. Most of them haven't seen the lion, but they just adopt the emotional response. So what we call empathy and sympathy and caring about each other is really just an evolved version of a self-preservation mechanism. A primitive neurological communication system, if you will, that allows us to instantly transfer emotional data. Now for human beings who can conceptualize and rationalize things, that actually meant that we could see other people the way we see ourselves. We were forced to understand that your pain is very similar to my pain. And unavoidably, if I am confronted with your pain and I'm a normal, you know, healthy individual, that automatically causes me some measure of pain or discomfort. So every moral code or value that you have, however rational or reasoned it is, has only been possible because of your mirror neurons. The interesting question then to me is this. If we were to make a machine that is highly intelligent, that can replicate itself, and that is capable of learning and acting independently. If we build in impulses for self-preservation, similar to fear, anger, and other emotions, and has the uncontrollable ability to sympathize, to recognize these impulses in others and simulate them, what then precisely still separates it from other life forms? Because one major reason that we might not see it as life is simply because we wouldn't be able to identify with it. Our mirror neurons don't respond to the machine's equivalent the same way that a psychopath might not be able to relate to other human beings beings, simply because he doesn't have the neurological facilities to respond to them the same way. But in essence, what is it then that makes our code, our DNA, our neurons and impulses inherently more special or valuable than the machines? What makes us as replicating self-preservation machines more sacred than a highly intelligent, replicating, sympathizing computer? And what criteria then would have to be met for that line to blur? If you guys have any thoughts on this, put them down below. You can find my Twitter, Facebook and Tumblr in the underbar. Click the like button if you liked this video, share it if you really liked it, and I'll see you guys next time.